Hey, what's up guys? Jeremy Donson here with TheDrumProfessor.com. We're out in the backyard of my Arizona home and I uh, just had some requests of where I come from and how I started playing, so I thought I'd share that with you. Um, I was raised in East Texas for 19 years and moved here in 2003 to Arizona. Um, I took a total of five years of drum lessons, three years for uh, on drum set with Ken Nardo Murray. Uh, he's a drummer for Dolly Parton for nine years and longtime drummer of Mouse in the Traps. Amazing drummer, more than way more than just one style of country. Do metal, jazz, shuffles, samba, bossa nova, you name it. Amazing instructor. Um, and I learned a very valuable lesson that uh, in those years of drum lessons that I learned so much more at such a fast rate comparably if I would have just tried to do it myself. So. Um, if you ever think you know enough, there's always something more to learn. Neil Peart took two years of lessons, uh, jazz lessons in New York after he was considered one of the greatest drummers of all time. So super important, very grateful for uh, my parents doing that for me at that time. And uh, I remember <laughs> when I started lessons, I was so bad at rushing, man. It was horrible. He would just, I don't know how he kept his cool, man. He was just a really patient man, and I think that really helped me to uh, learn to be extremely patient all, as well with my students. But uh, looking back on it, it must have done a number on them because I would rush so bad. It was like a running away, runaway train for the first few months and finally just started to click and uh, got much better at that. But uh, really, really wonderful instructor. Uh, then I took two years of lessons from uh, a DCI instructor named John Graham, uh, DCI's Drum Corps International. If you've never seen that, you got a YouTube. It's really cool. Um, we just worked on rudiment application, stick heights, um, controlling the stick, a lot of, a lot of stick work. Um, and I remember when I, was, <laughs> when I was deciding what I wanted to be, graduated high school, ended up going to college for three years, and uh, my, my entire family's very, very uh, uh, heavy music background, seven band directors all the way to musical instrument repair technicians, and you name it, there's somebody in my family that does it, concert pianists, etc. But uh, I wanted to be different, so I went to college for three years to be a man nurse. <laughs> it's like, I'll go in the medical field, I'll do something different. And uh, so I went to college three years to be a man nurse, an RN, and uh, nothing wrong with that at all, but it just wasn't where my heart was taking me. So three years in, I realized, hey, I, this is not where my heart's leading me, so backed out of, of uh, getting that degree and started my uh, teaching business. So I've been teaching for 15 years. Uh, taught high schools for eight years. Um, really enjoy what I do. I, I enjoy very much um, teaching people how to play, teaching all of my students how to play and helping them decide what they want to do with their career. Um, at one time I was getting looked at by a major record label and uh, we were getting ready to, um, to show up and, and perform for them um, or record for them. And I remember it just didn't quite feel right, so I backed out and started my teaching career. And to this day, I have no regrets whatsoever. Um, now I, uh, I am the only founding percussion instructor for uh, Carnegie Hall and the Royal Conservatory of Music put on a music appreciation program. And I was the uh, only founding percussion instructor in the United States. So that was huge. Met my beautiful wife, Amy. We actually got married last June, June 20th. And uh, we are having our first baby due in April. Super excited about that. Um, it's gonna be a boy. Don't know for sure yet. We had, a little too early for that, but uh, it's gonna be a boy. Um, <laughs> but most most important thing is it's healthy, and uh, that's that's the main thing we care about. But uh, we also just purchased this beautiful home in Arizona, um, and we bought it actually two weeks ago. We just moved in literally two weeks, so it's a brand new house, first house, first baby on the way, fairly new wed, newly wed to the love of my life. So a lot of really wonderful things going on. The Lord's really blessed me and my family. Um, but I really love what I do. I love to teach. I think it's so invaluable um, taking when I took those drum lessons because I would have learned so much slower comparably to actually doing the drum lessons. So one of the biggest supporters of, of me in my life and career has been my dad. Um, I wanted to actually stop drum lessons uh, when I was when I was taking and he told me he's like son if you if you weren't any good and didn't have a future in this I'd let you quit but you are good so you have two choices you can go and enjoy it and learn a lot of stuff and I'll pay for everything or you can uh, argue 
get grounded and go anyway. So <laughs> me being a little stubborn back then, I ended up going to choice B for a few months until I realized he meant business and stuck with choice A and stayed in lessons. So really got to thank my dad. And also he would, um, he was a very blunt man. <laughs> so I asked him a couple of times, I was like, so, Hey, how did you think I did on this part? Uh, when I was 18, 19 in a band and, um, he's like, son, that was terrible. You need to fix that. What, what was that? You know, I was like, come on, man, you gotta be a little less harsh here. But uh, in the end, it really taught me that uh, if he ever said I did a good job, it really meant something, that I really did do a good job. And I remember the first time that he said, son, that was really, really awesome, that it really meant more than um, just saying, oh, you did so good when it was really maybe not so great. So uh, really a lot of respect for my dad. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have my career today. So that's it. That's a little bit about me. And I uh, hope, hope you really enjoyed that. And um, looking forward to hearing your messages on YouTube and seeing what you thought of the videos and how it helped you and also uh, hopefully get to meet you in the live jam session and play, play along with you and help teach you some stuff and help you grow as a drummer faster. Thanks so much guys. Have a good one.